Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. We are getting close to the end once more. We must return to the mansion and descend into the underworld. Is Frank still here? Hi Frank! Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. You go back to staring at the moon. I'm sure it's very pretty at this time of night. I'm sorry, okay? Probably a bit of a waste, but it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm not really going to use the grenade launcher much going forward. Because once I've cleared the lab out of the immediate threats, it's essentially just use the magnum on the tyrant and then escape. End draws near. Now, I think the last time I did a Jill playthrough, I kept Barry's gun because his Magnum downs the tyrant in one shot. But I'm not going to do that because I want to get the cannon in brackets ending where. All the key players survive, which is Chris, Jill, Barry, and Rebecca. Technically, Brad as well, but since he doesn't actually set foot in the mansion, I don't really consider him a survivor. Did I come in here for a reason? No, I did not. Hopefully, Barry won't get knocked off a ledge like Wesker did in the Chris playthrough, which he somehow miraculously survived. But we all know at this point, Wesker is already inf infected with the virus, and he deliberately lets himself get killed by the tyrant, essentially faking his own death. I think that's what happens been a while since I've seen the Wesker report but I believe that that's how it went down all right one two What's on the other side of the door? Come on, we've heard, we've, we know who that is. We've heard her plenty of times. We know it's our old mate Lisa. Right? Do I need anything else? No. Bar Barry will essentially deal with Lisa while we push some big stones. Here we are then. Barry! You out there, Bazza? Here he is. Jill, you're alive. Hmm. I was worried because I thought you were. <laughs> Start talking. Calm 
down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Jill is such a badass. I love it. Hi, Lisa. You're looking lovely. Love what you're doing with your hair. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Thanks, Jill. Let's Barry. Ow. Oh, you what? You're supposed to be shooting the shit out of her. That's why I gave you your gun back. Oh, that, I am not okay with that. Right, Barry, I'm going to give you your gun back again. This time, buddy, fucking shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot her. <laughs> well, if you can't make yourself laugh. In the darkness lies your fears. Yeah, somebody with a gun a gun nut who doesn't want to shoot his gun. Right. I shall return shortly, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're back. It took me a bit longer than I initially intended because I forgot to take out the crest from the other door so I had to run all the way back and yes I'm going to save my progress here so I don't have to go through all that again just in case Barry forgets how to use a gun right that's sorted once the PS4 has decided it's ready thank you Right, let's ditch these. I'm going to take the shotgun with me, see if that has any more of an impact on Lisa than the grenade launcher. And should I die again, I won't have to run all the way back from the uh, cabin. So that's one thing at least. Shouldn't have been necessary at all. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? I'm giving you a gun back. Thanks, Jill. Use it this time if you would be so kind, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, see, Barry, that's what I wanted. There you go. You can put your hair away. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> right, we need to have a word. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. 
Jill, he betrayed you and you're just going to... Oh, I don't know. You're a terrible cop. If I was Jill, I'd want to de oh, I'd want an, ex an explanation for all your actions right there and now, right there and then. But no, you actually get knocked off a ledge, so you have to get yourself resurrected somehow. And even then, he takes his time shooting, and you. St Ugh, I don't know, Jill. I don't know what's going on in that brain of yours. Okay, here we go. Down into the depths. Here we are, ladies and gents. The, the last leg. The final stretch. The last Oreo cookie. Let's grab these. Uh, right, we'll ditch. No. You there. Put you there. I'll take you. And you. Let's go torch some zombos. Boys are not going to turn on my watch. I wish there were more flame rounds in this game. Magnum might be my second favourite weapon if that was the case. Right. Got all the modisks that we. Oh, no, I haven't. There's one more. Stop lying to yourself, Sigma. What are you doing? me oh this game is definitely screwing with me I'm not I'm um, it's not me, is it? This game is definitely screwing with me. Telling me areas are uncleared when they clearly are, and then a zombie taking three flame rounds to kill? No, I'm sorry. I am being screwed. There we go, there's that thing, and there was something else in here, wasn't there? Yes. I remember you. Alright, we know the codes now. John... Ada. Uh, 
and then sell. Right, everything's unlocked now. <coughs> Pop in here quickly. I should probably actually head upstairs first and drop some of these items off so I've now run out of room oh actually that will do Same rounds. You've blessed me with more. Thank you. Use one of those. Don't need to use it, but I still want to pick everything up. I've got plenty of health, really, so it doesn't matter if I can. I can, I can afford to waste a few now at this point. Well, oh, good. I thought I went through the wrong doors then for a second. Right. Is it are there any items I need to pick up in here, or is it just those? We've got the researchers, Will, John, Ada. Right. Okay. Let's pick up these and put them up. That should that should be enough to clear the room. Right. Which one were you? Well, you go down here then. And then this room should now be clear. Yes, done. Cool. I know what I'm doing. This is going to be an extended episode because we're here, we might as well finish off the game while we're here. This section really doesn't take all that long, so it's not worth doing the usual half hour episodes at this point. Got a dagger, anything else around here? Hang on bullets. Alright, this should be cleared. Yes. Right, let's head back up, dump some items off. Still saved the magna for last. I've got 
plenty of grenade launcher ammo so I can use that to deal with uh, the chimeras. <coughs> I think we're pretty much done with the zombies now. We've burnt them all to a crisp. Securing our escape route. Alright, let's pop in here. Another disc, thank you. First aid spray. Thank you. And as we're here, might as well. There we go, sorted. Eight, four, six, two. Key. And Kenneth. Sorry, buddy. What a way to go. Okay, apparently there's still something in this room. Oh, yes. I always forget that one. What? What are you doing to me, game? Oh, right there, shotty shells. There we go. Was that the other one that was le left marked red with Chris? I can't remember. I know, I know there was two areas that said I hadn't cleared as Chris, and I was fairly certain I had. Maybe it was that one, and I. I don't know, did I? No, it was the prison, wasn't it, where Jill was? I forgot that there was um, ammo in there with her. I'm glad I remember that, because now I know there's ammo with Chris. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> right, this area is all cleared, barring this room in here. <laughs> oh, stop it. Okay. Shit. 
Right, nothing in this area, this part of the room is there. No. Nah. Not wasting any more ammo on you. Battery, thank you. No, you. We good? We good. things ah yes this joyous bit but before we press on let's do the other mode disc Okay, acid rounds take two shots. I might have to switch back to the shotgun for you guys. Oh, you don't like fire, do you? We can go back, talk to Chris. No much point in doing it, I just like doing it. We did it with Chris and Jill, so why not do it again with Jill and Chris? <laughs> right, before we do that though, let's pop in here. Ditch the grenade launcher completely and switch back to the shotgun. Shells. And we've got Ink the Ribbon. Right. Jesus, that is a lot of health. You there. Shotgun shells and then you. Alright, we're good to go. Go this way again, just in case.
There we go. Chris, you okay? Is this where you get swapped out for an evil clone? Jill? Chris, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open! Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay, no sightseeing though. <laughs> I think I've seen all the sights I want to see in this place, frankly, Chris. Okay, let's get this tedious bit done. Running could result in a fatal explosion. I'm going to just unequip my shotgun so I'm not tempted to use it. I don't know why in my head it makes me move quicker having a weapon equipped, so... Are the, are the, is the boob jiggle physics really necessary? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but did we really need it? And we made it. Whew. Right now, let's raise some hell. Hmm. Not attacked. Suspicious. There we are. I was gonna let you run away that time, bitch. Shotgun seems less powerful than Jill's hands. When I say down, I mean stay down, bitch. Hey!
How dare you! Right, trying to change our loadout again. Time to get the best boy in the game. The Magnum. The goodest of boys. Right. And just in case, take some Heelys. I seem to have less Magnum bullets with Jill than with Chris, but that's fine. Pretty sure I don't need that many. There we go. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. And you're still not going to raise the betrayal with him, Jill? No? Okay. I mean, you could use this long pause on the lift to have that discussion. No? Just me? Okay then. Steely boys, thank you. Alright. Let's bring this situation to a close. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? You did oh, don't blame earlier Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. old tyrant boy it's magnificent for the sake of this thing you know I hate the eyes <laughs> Barry all is forgiven. Barry! <laughs> Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Questionable priorities, but okay. Oh, he's a big boy. Damn it! 
<laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? No, nope. what's Wesker first? What? Premature. Smooth. No, Barry! You viral cultured freak. That hurt my feelings. Well. Where are you? There we go. You hang tight, Barry. I'll be with you in a bit. Anything else on you? No. Is he dead, though? I mean, he, just, he only got whacked. It's not like with Chris where he got stabbed. Bazza, you all right? Barry! Barry! <sighs> You're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. Told you. First, let's just get out of here. You okay, Barry? Nothing to say? Alright. Check the area where Wesker was. No, okay. Nothing dropped. Grab Chris and get the hell out of Dodge. Nope. Not today. Stuck on there. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm free now. Chris, or Chris too, whichever one you are. You good? Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. I mean, you could just let me stay in there so I can get. The ammo that's in there. Yeah, see, look, red. Come on, game, don't do this to me. You screwed me enough already. There we go. Alright Chris, let's go.
Come on, let's go. Right behind you. Okay. One final check in with the item box. There we are, home free. Right, ditch these. Just in case. never know. It's already happened once in this episode. Being overconfident led to my demise, which I predicted as Chris. Sheer fucking hubris. Alright, let's go. Hey boys. Come on, come on, hurry! Shells, health. What are you? Another first aid spray? And you. Probably some herbs, which I could probably just use. No, not yet. We need to examine. A single green herb. You're really not going to be that ben that beneficial. This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Hold on, Brad. We're a coming. with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. How chivalrous. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Chris knows what he's doing. So does Barry. to someone else it seems.
Oh shit. That did not look comfortable. Jill, About you time. Kill it, whatever it is. There we go. Everyone is safe. Farewell, Spencer Estate, for the final time. And there we go. Spent the Spencer incident is officially closed, but the story is far from over. Tomorrow we shall be delving into the horrors of Raccoon City, so be sure to come back for that. And I'm going to end this here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.